Hello, I am back tonight with a video of my new baby girl. And I don't know why that light is on. I don't really like that. Because the light wasn't on before and it was showing really, it's like a shine and a light on her. Oh, let me see if I can try to figure out how to turn that off. I don't know. Oh, goodness. I don't know why it does this. Well, I guess we're just going to have to deal. I'll have to deal with the light. I was trying to make it like really um, better lighting for y'all so you could see her details. Because before she was in the sunshine and she was washed out. And now it has this light on. I'm wondering if that's like sort of like the flash or something. Because it came on. I don't think I pressed anything. It came on automatically. Anyway, well, I have to deal with it. I'm really trying to work on my lighting. If any of y'all can suggest videos or some suggestions, if y'all are good at um, figuring out lighting for um, videos, if you could give me some suggestions, I would appreciate it because I'm having a lot of trouble with my babies getting washed out in the videos, like with mainly too much light, I think. Anyway, here she is. I'm going to try it. I fixed her up. As you can see, I changed her clothes and that made a big difference. I really like this outfit. It's like a very light pink I don't, I guess you would call it, it's not a sleeper, it's all one piece, like a jumpsuit maybe, but it's vintage, and it's, let's see if you can see, here's my hand, if you can see it's pale, very light pale pink, and she has a white, over right here, she has a white collar here with lace, and then she's got pleated puffy sleeves, and then she's got lace here on the ends. And it's all, it buttons up the back. And here on the waist is more lace with a little rosette. And this is the outfit that I had that was in I can never get it to fit any babies, but it looks pretty good on her. I think it looks perfect for her. And it has lace here on the um, bottom of the, of the pants. And these are the booties that I did get with her, so they fit nicely. She has really big feet, and I tried other shoes on her, but none of the other shoes fit. Um, so she, it looks like she's going to wear a size five wide doll, uh, doll shoe, a size five wide toddler or baby shoe. She got some real big feet. So I might try to pick her up when I go to the thrift store, pick her up some shoes and I brushed her hair up a little bit and fixed it. And here she is. And the, the lighting is sh not showing up very good. She is very lightly painted. I mean, she is like a pale tan color. And um, she has the very green, as you can see there, she's coming up a little bit, very green eyes and long black lashes. And she has nice black um, eyebrows there. Her lips are a little pinkish purple, which I am going to strip her lips and do her lips over. And she has just the slightest bit of um, blushing on her cheeks. I don't know if you can see that. As you can see it right there. And she is just, and she has pierced ears here, little white rhinestones in her ears. So I changed her clothes. I'll show you from the side. Changed her clothes, and I fixed up her hair, brushed her hair, gave her a pale pink bow to match. And I am thinking of, and she's holding her bear there. I'm thinking of some names for her. So here are a couple of names I have in mind. So maybe y'all can let me know what y'all think fits her. I think she's very pretty but she looks like maybe a little sassy to me too so the first name that I think I might like the most is Briar Rose or the next name I was gonna say there was Britain Rose so if y'all could let me know which y'all think fits her Briar Rose or Britain Rose those are the names that I'm thinking so far because she's a pretty girl but she has a little bit of sassiness or jazziness to her I think so there she's looking at everybody. So I just want to come on and show you her tonight. And I'm going to do a, a little bit of work on her. I'm getting some of my babies that I have to do some touch-ups on, and she'll be one of them. And I was pleasantly surprised because um, when I went to undress her and, and stuff, actually her wig is not attached at all, which is good for me because, like I said, I want to change out her wigs. But I could see how it could be a disappointment or a problem to someone that was just, you know, out to buy a reborn a baby and the wig is not attached at all. That could really upset some people, I think. But 
for me it works out great because I did want to switch out her wigs and give her some different looks sometimes. So her wig, it, it just stays on her head. It doesn't slip off or anything. But you obviously can't move her around a lot, which I don't plan to. She's not really a baby that's going to be changed a whole lot or moved a lot. She has green glass eyes. And I'm just trying to give you some different angles. So maybe, there you go, that angle picks up a little bit better lighting. Like I said, I'm not even sure. My friend has been urging me to get a new phone. My phone is so old. I love to wait till everything just falls apart and absolutely till I need a new one. But my phone does not take the best video or pictures for some reason. I just guess I need to upgrade a phone. Um, and I'm not even sure why this light came on when I went. It wasn't on earlier when I was checking how it looked. But when I went to play the video or to record, it just this light just popped on by itself. So I'm assuming that it's some type of, and this is a Samsung phone that I have, an older one. I'm assuming that it's some type of, uh, you know, like a, like a um, flash or something because it may be a little bit darker in my room because the sun is going down. Anyway, I'm not sure. But if y'all can give me any tips about how to take better video and pictures so that the dolls are not washed out. Because right now I have a light over here. I'll show you. This is a light. The only light is my room right now. And that's what's it's over here in the corner. It's um, in front of her, not behind her. So I don't know if I should do backlighting, if I should do lights behind her or lights in front of her. I've tried lights behind the dolls. And that, that, that makes them washed out looking too. Um, excuse the noise. That's my son going in and out playing outside walking. Uh, anyway, if y'all could give me any pointers, I appreciate it. It's just frustrating because I try to make my babies look, um, as nice as they do look to me, but they never come up that good on video or, or my pictures. There she go. You kind of can see her there. But she's still looking way washed out because she's not pale, that pale. She is slightly pale, but she's not quite that pale. She's like, um, a very light tan flesh color with just a little bit of, um, pink on her cheeks so I'm not sure if that's coming up but anyway I'm gonna have a fun time dressing her up and changing out her wigs and everything so if y'all can suggest some names of, or maybe let me know about the two that I picked Briar Rose or Britain Rose I'm kind of leaning towards Briar Rose because I feel like she has a little sassiness to her here and I love her lashes. I'm concerned, though, when I change her clothes, because when I pull it over her head, it kind of pushes on her lashes, and I don't want them to come off. Because she's got really pretty lashes. Really long, pretty. Anyway, there she is. And she wants to say hi, aunties. I got it. I got here finally. I was about a, almost a week late, but I got here. And, again, I am doing my, still doing the Reborn giveaway. And we're up to 122 subs right now. So we've only got about a little more than 25 to go, and I will be painting that giveaway baby for you ladies and gentlemen, if I have some gentlemen. I think I might have one or two gentlemen, but they're shy and they don't like to say that they're on my channel, I don't think. But I'm just happy if they enjoy my videos and my babies, it's fine with me. So I will be, like I said, doing a little work with her. I'm just going to add some blushing, some creasing. I don't think I'm going to add too much modeling to her because she is a toddler. She's not a baby, little baby, baby. And I'm going to redo her lips. I'm going to, um, her lips are almost like a light purple, which would be fine for fantasy, but I don't think that's really great for just a human baby. So I'm just going to strip her lips, which won't be hard, and um, give her a little more realistic lip color. But that's probably all I'm going to do to her, just add like some details pretty much. Other than that, I'm not going to mess with her eyes. I love how her eyelashes and eyes and eyebrows are. Just a little blushing to her cheeks and um, to her limbs and some creases probably. And do her lip color over. And then I'm going to be getting her some new wigs. I'm going to get her fantasy wig that I've had my eye on. I've been waiting for a little girl like her, a perfect size. It's like a long, very long wig. And sometimes they come in like pigtails that are permanent. Or I can just get the straight one, and they're like all different pastel, really pretty pastel rainbow colors. 
almost like candy. So I think that's one wig I'm definitely going to get her. And I don't think I'm going to go blonde because I have a lot of blonde babies already. It's weird because I go between, like, the two polar opposites. I go from black-haired babies to very blonde. <laughs> I don't really have any brown-haired babies in between, but not many at least. So I'm kind of extreme in my taste of babies. But I said I will be getting a new baby. I've sold quite a few in the last couple of days. So I have enough to get a, um, I've already purchased her and she'll be coming. She's from Irie Gallery. She's a the Jenny Awake real born. And she's a beautiful, really beautiful little baby girl. And her little face is just amazing. Expression on her face is like something you'll just have to, um, see it to believe it it's just beautiful but she has a very much expression in her little face the new baby i'm getting and i ha obviously haven't chosen a name for the new baby but her sculpt is jenny awake by iris so i'll be doing a really um, good box opening with her um and chantelle the artist chantelle Bagus, she um is going to do a very wonderful pretty um box opening for me so I will bring that to you as soon as she comes I'm hoping she'll be here within the next week and y'all will see her and I'm excited to share the, show you her and she's looking so pretty this little girl right here she's a pretty girl like I said she reminds her of Snow White or um, Scarlett O'Hara because Scarlett O'Hara was supposed to have green eyes and she did have black hair but the character was from the movie and from the book She's beautiful. My husband said she looked like Snow White to him with his black hair. So I just wanted to show you hopefully a little better video, but my lighting is still a little off and washing the baby girl out. So please help me along and let me know about lighting because I'm really lost about lighting. But I'm going to try to keep going until I get it right because I want my babies to look the best they can. And, and I want them to look as cute and beautiful as they do to me. And... On camera sometimes they don't look like that they don't look as nice on camera they want to look the best for their aunties and uncles so I'm gonna go I just wanted to try to show another video of her I changed her up her clothes and I think clothes make a big difference like I said I like to dress my babies in vintage clothes if I have them and I love going to thrift stores and looking for vintage clothes for my babies so she's in a little vintage jumper that's really pretty so she wanted to say hello to everyone she wanted to say hi to her aunties and then she's got her hair all fixed up and her clothes changed she wanted to say hi and that like I said it's either Miss Briar Rose or Miss Britton Rose I think that's the ones I've chosen or I'm debating between those and we're still moving ahead like I said on the reborn dog giveaway and I'll be painting her um, when I hit 150 subs, which is not about 25 more, and um, when I hit 25, which is only like two or three away, I will wash up the kit and I will show you either you know a video or something, um, maybe as I wash the kit or or afterwards or something like that. So she'll be making progress, and I am on my second um, custom. I sh the little boy that I showed you the other day, he didn't make it home to his mama quickly because she actually lives in the same state as I do we're only two or three hours away so she got him today and she's real happy with him and I, it just blesses my heart that that she loves him so much and he's special to her being made after one of her sons so I'm working on the second one now her her um custom reborn that will look like her older son so I appreciate each and every one of you I hope you're having a blessed day and please keep my good friend Iris Johnson and your prayers about her, um, I think it's her hip and back pain. Keep her in your prayers, please, for that, so that she can get some relief for that, because we all appreciate her, and I appreciate each and every one of you. You're all special to me, and I really enjoy your comments and feedback. So I will see you soon. I will be back on. I'm not sure if I'll come back on with this little girl or not. I mean, I will come back on with her eventually. I'm not sure if I'll come back on tomorrow with her. But I will um, come back on in the next day or so with some more videos of the babies. 
Again, have a blessed weekend, and I hope you all have a wonderful Father's Day. Talk to you soon.